Hi guys, this is Norm. Here I have for you today an inbox review and I decided to share with you one of my latest acquisitions and this is the M113 IDF Zelda 2 reactive armor conversion set from Black Dog. In the next few pictures everything you see in light gray is actually part of the kit and you obviously will need an M113 chassis to put it on for the getting the, your conversion done. This is a unique looking vehicle of the Zelda uh, family for the IDF army. So everything that you see on this picture is what comes in the kit. My kit was a little different. I had a few extra and a few missing things. So in the small bag we have the reactive armor blocks and the big bag contain all the small bits. So as you can see it's not a big kit. At first glance my armor blocks look fine but when I uh, detected that the pore plugs were missing or actually they had been sheared off uh, that would actually help me in the cleanup but then I took a closer look at the armor blocks and then I realized some of the armor bolts were missing so that will need some cleanup and then I'll need to replace uh, the few missing bolts that you see with the little red circles it's a little saddening but it stuff happens in shipping the front glasses spared any damage so I'm quite happy with that and all that'll be left for me is just to clean up the bottom of those uh, pore plugs that you can see uh, the armored shields for the crew commander and the rear sentinels uh, have a few air bubbles here and there and a few voids but nothing that cannot be fixed. It's to be expected with the small release uh, resin. Machine guns, uh, I probably will replace them with live resin ones, which are much better, but they could do. What I really like is those uh, crew helmets, which come with details inside. That's really a nice feature. And the small old vintage uh, flag jacket as well. The smoke dischargers at the bottom look pretty good with canvas covers and that long extension tube is for the muffler. Those are foot loops for getting on board the vehicle and I just happen to have a few extra. The swivel mounts for the machine gun looks alright, they just need a little clean up and they'll be just fine as is. And those are small bits for the kits and the handles and stuff like that. So I suggest that uh, to mount this kit you get yourself a good M113 kit, either a latest release from uh, Tamiya or maybe an academy kit which is also fine which is based on the uh, Tamiya kit anyway and to dress everything up you could also pick up this kit from Black Dog this is the IDF accessory kit comes with all sort of extras like uh, helmets, stretchers, backpack, water bottles, you name it here's the whole kit, you even have RPG uh, backpacks and I want to thank you all for watching and supporting my channel Take care, Norm signing off.